Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to review Half-Life VR mod. It's a fan-made virtual reality mod for the classic Half-Life from 1998. It's free to play as long as you own the original Half-Life. It released on the Steam Store October 19th, 2022 by developer Max Makes Mods. I tested the game out on the Meta Quest 2 using Link Cable on my RTX 3080. And before I start this review in earnest, I do want to give a big thank you to Max and all the developers who helped them for bringing this experience to PC VR. This project actually started back in 2017, so it's been many years in the works and I appreciate their hard work. This is a a full review although I didn't get to beat the game I did spend 18.7 total hours and the reason I didn't beat the game is because I faced a game breaking bug in the last boss fight and while Half-Life is a genre defining game it's a complete masterpiece at the time I honestly would only recommend this mod for hardcore Half-Life fans and really nobody else there's just too many issues with this experience for me to recommend it for most people I do want to make it clear though that I don't blame the devs. This is a very old game and it does have a ton of issues but a lot of it just isn't their fault. Especially since this is a true labor of love they are doing this for the VR community and I do appreciate their hard work and effort. However I wouldn't be much of a reviewer if I glossed over all the issues this game had. Yes I did have some fun playing this game but I also faced a plethora of issues. There's just no way I could mention all the issues I faced while trying to complete this game. Like I said, I did reach the final end boss fight, but with the game breaking bug I faced, I would have to restart from the very start and I just didn't want to do that. Keep in mind, I only played this game on one headset and one PC rig, so the issues I faced may not be universal. And I don't know how common these issues are, but I do know that I'm not the only one to face these issues. There's a post on the Steam community forums that mentions the same game breaking bug that I faced. So let's talk about my experience with the Half-Life VR mod and why I only recommend it to hardcore Half-Life fans. First of all, there are a ton of options on how you can play this game. There's so many options that I just can't mention them all. In fact, there's over a hundred different settings available for this game that's just totally insane. The big ones is that you have classic Half-Life VR mod, SD textures, and HD textures as well. So if you want the classic experience you do have that option available but you can also turn up the visuals and you'll have female models as well. And you'll be able to press buttons, grab levers, throw stuff, drink soda cans, climb ladders, and swing that crowbar with fully six degree of freedom weapons and also voice recognition available as an option. Obviously you have full look of motion, smooth turning, snap turning, and teleportation available. Button crouch is available by default but you can turn on the real life crouch detection. You can turn on left hand mode, you can turn on the aim laser pointer for ranged weapons, you can turn on left hand mode, and you can set the speed of your movement speed as well. You can set the world scale, you can set the world height factor, and PC scale. But most importantly there is an option for ladders and you can set it for immersive climbing, legacy climbing, or combined. Obviously if you want the easiest experience I would say go for legacy climbing but I went for combined which did make it a little bit difficult but I was able to handle the ladders without too much difficulty. Although I'm not gonna lie I did die to ladder several times. I played the game on normal difficulty and I thoroughly enjoyed the challenge. A lot of Half-Life still stands up to modern standards. It's hard to believe that Doom was released back in 1993 and just five years later there's a complete revolution in the first person shooter genre with Half-Life. And obviously this VR mod does change up the gameplay even though you can play the classic mode where it retains most of the game playing it with motion controls is obviously going to change up the gameplay. And while it is different I think the developers here did a great job in maintaining the spirit of the original Half-Life in this VR mod. But since this isn't a remake, a lot of the problems of the Half-Life and trying to play it in modern systems do pop up. One of the most annoying things is the loading screens and the menu popping up in between levels and you'll be playing and enjoying the game and all of a sudden the game just stops in its tracks and it's very disorienting and then when you come back you're maybe facing another direction than you were 
originally and it just ruins the immersion as well. To add to the frustration, the game crashed on me a lot. So many times that I just can't give you an accurate count. I know it was more than 10, but was it 50? Maybe. But probably closer to 25. Who knows? It crashed a ton. And this issue forced me to save very often. And unfortunately, when you save, it also pauses your game for another frustrating amount of time as well. There's also just some issues with the outdated mechanics of this game. Not all the mechanics have stood the test of time. There are sections of this game that are just total mazes to navigate through. There's so many cheap deaths in this game, whether it's hidden mines or structures that break as soon as you get into them, or enemies just spawning next to you. To add to the frustration, there's just a lot of times where the sound just cut off in this game. I think that was a bug. I don't know if that bug existed in the original game, but I do know that in this VR mod you'll have several times where the sound just totally cuts off or starts to get bugged out and the only way to fix it is to just restart the game. And I never found a control scheme that I enjoyed in this game. It seems all the available options had an issue with them. The control scheme I ended up using, you actually have to click down on your right joystick in order to cycle through the weapons. That was very cumbersome to use, but again, all the different control schemes available had an issue and yes I do know you could use a custom control scheme but just nothing worked because there just aren't enough buttons on motion controllers and I never figured out how to use alternate fire on the quest touch controllers. There were other issues such as using the turrets which I found very clunky to use and there were just sections of the game that are just much easier in VR because you can teleport to different platforming so the platforming sections are just not as difficult in VR. But not using the teleporter it's almost impossible to do some of these sections so there isn't really a way around it. So overall I think I would have enjoyed this game a whole lot more if it was a smoothed and polished experience but it's difficult for me to blame the devs when I know it's just really this really old game engine that's just not meant to be played on modern systems. I spent 18.7 hours in this game but it wasn't by choice. It's because I faced so many bugs and issues. Honestly it shouldn't have taken me that long. I estimate maybe 8 hours is what it would have been without all these issues. I know people can speed run it in a little over 3 hours. But I don't regret it because I am a big Half-Life fan. This is a classic and playing it in VR is a dream come true so I can't really complain all that much and I almost was able to beat it. I was at the last boss fight so close to having a face to face with the G-Man but given all the issues I would say unless you're a hardcore Half-Life fan I just couldn't recommend this experience. It's just too rough around the edges for most people and that's a shame because a lot of this game is still really good it's just there's so much frustration involved in the experience as well. There were so many different times where I just wanted to quit playing but I kept going because I knew it was Half-Life and I had to finish it and I would have if I hadn't faced that game breaking bug at the very end of the game unfortunately. So if you're still interested in playing this game but you're not a hardcore fan I would say just play the Black Mesa VR mod that's available out there. I think you'll be much happier playing that but if you want the original experience in VR then this is your best bet and I do recommend it for those people and if you have to rate this I would give it a 6 out of 10. Anyways I'm Fast Lawyer this has been my review for Half-Life VR Mod PC VR. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day. Goodbye.